Hello everyone. Guess where I am right now? What am I doing now? I am charging my homemade car. That runs on solar energy. Can you imagine? I made a mistake in my calculations. And now, I have to take everything apart. What exactly is the problem? The problem is that, it has to stand on the charge, 10 or even 13 hours. And then it only travels 100 miles. What the hell? I was sure that I could drive it twice as far in a day. Well, at least 200 miles a day. I wanted to drive on solar energy. Damn rain. My great journey on the energy of the sun became even greater for a whole two times longer. Tell me, what can I do in the steppe for 13 hours? Under the pouring sun, while the sunmobile actually is charging. Two hundred and seven watts, almost two hundred watts, and two hundred and twenty watts. That is, I need to follow the sun for ten hours and turn the solar panels after it. Today I have been doing this for four hours. This means that I will be able to go further only after six hours, minimum. Charged finally, oh my god, look, look, it was charging almost 12 hours continuously Holy moly! I was going uphill. It was a very long climb. The car was running hard. And at one moment it stopped going. And began to roll back. Now I have it on the handbrake on both sides. And you know what the problem is. The problem is that it burned out. The motor wheel controller. Look, I turn the throttle, and here, the consumption is only 30 amps. That means it's half as much as it should be. So, I lifted the wheel. Let's turn the throttle. Right wheel is spinning. Right wheel is spinning. I have a spare controller, of course. But, damn. So unpleasant. So, it's two in the morning. Lord, I have to take it all apart, sort it out and redo. But I did not get only 20 meters to the top. Old controller, new controller, checking, turn on on the phone, mobile hotspot, a Wi-Fi module is connected to it, turn on my app, so, forward gear, headlights turned on, well, let's go, 
So, consumption. Consumption is normal. We drive 10 kilometers per hour, uphill. Oh my god, I did it. I did it in just an hour. And it's already 3 in the morning. So this is, day 5. Do you know what is the strangest thing in the steppes of Kazakhstan? During the day here, 40 degrees above zero Celsius. At night here, 7 or 10 degrees above zero. That is, that's how strong temperature drops are. Wow. I pretend to be asleep. Just for the video, actually, I'm going to sleep with the camera turned off. Today is a really important day for me. Today I will finally get to the city. To the city of Aktobe. And I'll go to the store there. Of course I can't come to the store like a bum. Therefore, I really hope that in the next 30 miles I will come across a river and I will finally wash. Wow! This is a river. Of course it looks more like some kind of swamp. Crap. But I'm very, very lucky. Oh my god! Oh my god, the water is so cold! A lot of algae! Of course, I understand that I am polluting nature with soap, but I just have no other choice now. Damn it hurts. Yesterday. I got sunburnt yesterday. Horror. Damnation. You know what I remember? 
I remembered that four years ago. I rode a bicycle 400 miles in these shorts. Or I drove 500 miles then. That was four years ago, so these shorts are already four years old. And I bought them in second hand. And who is this pure? And who is this all washed up with us? So, the city of Aktobe. Let's go to the store. I'm closing this door. And also let's close here. Like this. And now. I scroll here. And it's done. It's just unbearable. I am already right in the city of Aktobe, right in the city itself, and I parked to the side of the road, thinking that it would be possible to stay there for the night and sleep. Nothing like this. People passed by and it was vital for them all to look at this car, take a picture of it, and it was impossible to sleep. <laughs> And now, I'm in a paid parking lot. And no one will wake me up here. So yeah, good night. It looks like a regular paid parking, as it seems there are only cars around here. But then bam. Wow. Do you think this is not too brazen of me? Actually, I could ask for an outlet here. And I'm sure they would give me one. But yes, this is a great journey on the energy of the sun, and not a great trip from the outlet, so if they suddenly start to resent me, I will pay for two more parking spaces. The guard has arrived. Now he will most likely be outraged. Not? It's so good. So, let's go to a fan meeting. Guys guess why it's so noisy? It's just that a popular blogger with a million subscribers came to our city. Aktobe, hello. My name is Nikita. I myself am from the city of Taldekorgan. Three years ago, I left for St. Petersburg and got a job there in a company that develops charging stations for electric vehicles. All because, Gasoline is already the past, and electric vehicles are our future. And some, rather most of the employees who worked there with me drove electric cars. They absolutely did not spend money on gasoline, and so I began to envy them. Of course, I also wanted an electric car. But I didn't have the money for it, because it's much more expensive than ordinary cars. So I bought myself a 1976 Soviet Moskvich car. I pulled the gas engine out of this and put an electric one in its place. I also put batteries there and finally completely stopped paying for gasoline. I traveled around St. Petersburg for free. I remember your car getting very hot. Yes. But the problem was that I was driving 70 miles an hour a day. And I could only drive 50 miles a day. Which is very little for me. You ask why only 50 miles? Because... A lot of energy is spent not on getting me from point A to point B. But on delivering tons of a Moskvich car. And 70 kilograms of me. As a result... It turns out a very irrational energy consumption. Low efficiency. Yes, exactly. May I ask? Wait a second. Okay. So, I started thinking how to fix this problem and became interested in the subject of space. What is happening in space? In space, robots ride on Mars and on the moon. Ride moon rovers and Mars rovers. How does it drive? This too has solar panels. 
Their batteries are also charged from the sun. And then they go. And it doesn't need anything either, it just needs the sun to shine. And then I thought, if such technologies exist on Mars and on the moon, then why is this not on Earth? Why don't people still use this technology to get around? So I decided to make myself an electric car. What doesn't even need an outlet? It's enough to stand in the sun. And it can go. Here, you can look and admire. Can I ask, is there a problem with the traffic police? There are no problems with the traffic police. They stop me, take pictures and drive on. It's all? Thank you. So, where are you going now? Need any help? No, no help is required, unless to disperse all these people. Then I drove on, in my solar car, when suddenly I ran out of battery, left the track and already started getting ready for bed, and then some people arrived, and now I'm sitting with them and eating melon. The situation is this, I'm standing on the track, well, that is, here is the track and here I am, and everyone who passes by, stop and ask what it is and how it all works. I repeat the same thing to them all a hundred times. And they, well, yes, in general, I'm tired, I'm too tired, this is a very large flow of people. I've already been given so much food here that the car can't drive uphill normally. Lord. In general, I think it's no longer possible to stand next to the highway. I need to pack up and go somewhere. I need to climb somewhere and hide behind bushes or trees. Hide from all those good people. What should I do with all this food? I'm alone and not five people are going. Here, for example, sausage, it will go bad without a refrigerator and I won't have time to eat it. It's not fair at all. I went on this journey to be alone. I like being alone. I'm like Shrek. I want to survive. I want to overcome difficulties. I want to temper myself. May I have a look at the car? You can. That's it. You don't have to worry about the sausage. Take it. Now it won't go bad. It's an inventor's prize, right? Like this. The sun is shining beautifully. It looks like it needs to be charged. But I'll be stacking the solar panels. Just look. He rides back. So, where can I hide now? There isn't even a single tree around here. Yes, look what I found. No one will definitely find me here. Damn it. Well, I hope they will be too lazy to go here. There is a very interesting atmosphere here, as if I am now on another planet, and there is nothing else on it, and the Sunmobile is in the Krator, and is charging.
Damn. This wind, or rather strong gusts of wind, blown away all the solar panels, what the hell? So, this one didn't crash. Or did it? Oh horror. What the hell? Holy moly. So, this one didn't crash, thank god. Although no, I'm an atheist. Hole. Good thing it didn't crash, great. Hell. Damn. How can I move on now? But everything happened so suddenly. There was no wind. There was complete calm. No wind. And then abruptly, as it began to blow and overturned all the solar panels, apparently. My great solar powered journey just got even more great. It dragged on for two weeks. I'm afraid that I won't get there. A little more than 2,000 miles left. I've only done a third. Probably. I've set the bar too high for myself. Okay, now I'll think about how to live on. And you put likes and write comments. Subscribe to the channel those who have not subscribed yet. Damn. It broke. It just broke. It broke. It burst here and broke. It broke. And I'm in the middle of the desert. I'm in the middle of a desert.